And we back. If you were to ask NBA fans who's the greatest point guard of all time, I would guess 95% of people say this man's name, Magic Johnson. I think I got an extra signed Magic Johnson Funko Pop somewhere in the house, so you let me know if I should give it away. In today's video, we're trying to replicate just one feat of Magic Johnson's resume, because it's a long resume, man. He's the greatest of all time at his position. But he is the only player in NBA history to come in as a rookie and win finals MVP. So in 1980 versus the 76ers, he did it all. But if you look at the total points, total rebounds, it was a lot of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who was Magic Johnson's teammate. But in this game, Kareem could not play. I don't remember why. I, I mean, I say I don't remember. This was 16 years before my existence. But Kareem did not play in the closeout game, game six. So famously, Magic Johnson started at the center position, basically making him one of the few players to start at every single position in his career. And in this game, he put up 42 points, 15 rebounds, seven assists, three steals, closed out the series, and won finals MVP. And that happened in the 80s, 40 plus years ago. And no rookie has ever come into a team and win finals MVP. In today's video, I'm getting three different chances with three different random draft classes to see if I can draft the guy, rebuild his team to be championship contenders, but ultimately have him be the final player raising the, the, the Bill Russell. What is the finals MVP? Let me look it up. It is called the Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. That is a mouthful, but it's named after Bill Russell, which makes sense because bro got more rings than I got fingers on my hands. So let's go try to see if we could get somebody to be a rookie and win finals MVP. As we go through this fantasy draft, I want to say thank you to everybody that showed love on videos last week. It's my first week going back daily in the weekdays and the first time in a long time, and it was dope. But a brother caught a cold, like right at the end of it. So I'm trying to fight through these videos because I want to keep my streak alive. So I'm fighting through these videos with a cold. So you probably hear just a little bit differently in my voice. But you know what I'm saying? It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. So the highest rated prospect in this year's draft class is Joffrey Henderson, who is a shooting guard, point guard, 6'7", 18 years old. I'm looking at him and looking at these. Of course, he hasn't been scouted. So this is not 100% set in stone, but he looks like a stud. He looks like an absolute stud. Nobody else is even close. C plus, C plus, and a bunch of C's and C minuses. But it's, I think that our guy that we're going to try to focus on for year number one is going to be Joffrey Henderson. Like I said, we get three different years, three different attempts. So it's basically three different rebuild videos if you think about it. Because whenever team gets the first overall pick and draft him, they got the first overall pick for a reason. They were trash. So I got to turn that trash into treasure. But also get it so he's still the best player when it matters the most. And part of my strategy, and maybe I'm spoiling it a little bit, is once we get to the finals, if we get to the finals, hell, you, you don't really know at the end of the day. Once or if we get to the finals, I'm gonna make it that whoever his second option is, or technically the first option, gets less minutes, he gets every minute. I'm gonna make him the number one scoring option. And based on the stats we just saw, the attributes, it's like he might be able to rebound a little bit, pass a little bit. So I got, I got a plan in mind. And if we could get it done in the first year, come on, man. Magic Johnson did it 42 years ago. And then Joffrey Henderson is going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Joffrey can do it. Uh, James Harden won MVP. 33, 10, and 6. I don't know if we'll ever see this version of James Harden again. I hope we do. I feel like a lot of people took this version of James Harden for granted. And now that he might not be this no more, we're going to all miss it. But hey, we got it in 2K simulation. He was 50, 40, 90 club for the first time in his career too. Huge, huge season for him. I guess we low-key could have focused on this year's draft class too. Is any of these people in the playoffs? I don't know. Probably not. You know what? Nope. Let's not think about it. We're just going gonna to focus on next season. It was fantasy draft either way. So it don't really matter. Who's going to be the team to win the championship? Is it gonna Lakers, Bulls, Finals? Lakers win with Paul George, Fred Van Vliet, Jaron Jackson Jr., Alex Caruso back with the Lakers. This is a really good team. And then the Bulls had Jimmy Butler and Vucevic. Oh, man. Scotty Barnes. Oh, man. Yo, Scotty Barnes made it to the finals. If I would have just been paying attention, I might have been able to make it happen this year. Probably not, though. They still lost. I mean, and that was with Jimmy Butler and Vucevic and all of those things. Who's going to win the lottery? It's going to be the Grizzlies. Will the Grizzlies take the guy we need them to take? Actually, I should probably lose control of every single team right now because they're going to be like, Kenny, uh, it's your turn to draft. When in reality, I don't, I don't actually want to draft. I want to watch it. I want to see if Joffrey Henderson, I think his name was Joffrey Henderson. I forgot that fast. First overall pick is Henderson. Yeah. Oh, 81 overall, 3 and D guard. What did you average in college? Show me your college statistics, my boy. What did you average in college? Were you a hooper hooper? Hall of Fame potential. He averaged 32 in college with 6 assists, 7 rebounds. And he's 6, hold on, he's 6, 7? Now, Magic Johnson was 6'9", but this guy has positional versatility as well from Mississippi State. I don't care about nobody else in this draft class, actually. I think he's the only guy that even makes sense. Everybody else is going to be 77 or below. How many bad does he come in the league with? 13? 
What these badges look like? What these badges look like? Clamps, okay. Menace, off ball, tireless defender, glue hands, catch a shoe corner. Oh, yes, sir. This is the real deal. He legit might be the best chance we get. It's not often again in 2K22. It's not often they give you 80 plus overall rookie. So we got him. We got, oh my God. We got Kyrie, Pascal Siakam, Franz Wagner, Thomas Bryant. Okay. This is, this is a nice mixture of, well, a lot of young, but older up top in Kyrie who we, we were losing at free agency, it looks like. Maybe not losing, but we're gonna have to resign him. Okay, he left or he's declining. Do we have a max spot? We do have a max spot. Or is it just a max for Kyrie? It's just a max for Kyrie who's got 10 offers. And like he might be going to the Nets. D D James Harden just won MVP for the Nets. And he's like, you know what? We're gonna let you walk and try to bring in Kyrie. I'm gonna give Kyrie the bag bag. Even if we don't wanna keep him long-term, we need him as a trade assets. But it looked like he's leaving. I got another strat. Nope. Nope, I was going to give him the no trade clause, but then we're going to have to... Okay, well, this just got way more difficult if Kyrie doesn't resign. He's not resigning. It just got way more difficult. All right. Okay. Who else can we afford? Wow. We lost We lost Kyrie Irving, man. That sucks. That sucks. It was... Y'all. Y'all. He's still here. Kyrie. What the heck was that pump fake, Kyrie? What the heck was that pump fake? Hey, Re is back on the team. Only trade that came up was Bam and Evan Mobley. Okay, it's not the trade we want to do. <laughs> Imagine you resign with a team and immediately they try to flip you. I mean, it's going to happen. Because I just feel like if he's on the team, he's going to win finals MVP if we win a championship. And this team is not championship worthy yet. We, we got to trade him to get pieces that make it championship worthy. Another part of my strategy is to build a really good team with low shot tendency. So who are the best players in the league we could potentially trade for that don't take a lot of shots? Jimmy Butler is up there, okay. Darius Garland is too good though, he's too good. No, 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 no. But like Chris Paul, DeAndre Aiden, where's Anthony Davis? Anthony Davis has a 90 shot tendency. Why am I surprised by that? Rudy Gobert obviously will help us win games. When you come to simulation, you just need high overall players. Lonzo Ball is a point guard that we could potentially trade for, low shot tendency. I really thought that Anthony Davis would be a perfect guy for this challenge. Just because I've, I feel like I've had him in simulations where he helps us win championships and stuff, but he never averages more than like 21 points per game. Last year, he averaged 23 and 10. Who was he playing with though? I mean, is Anthony Davis my guy? I don't want an elite level guard play. That's why I'm trying to shop Kyrie. I want my guy to be the ball handler. I want him to do everything, set up offenses. Let's see if they'll do this. Even if I throw them, um, who's a young player we got? I'll throw you um, Trent Wofford and a pick. It's Anthony, D that's a good pick too. Two picks, that's all I got. If you ain't accept that, he said, what's that say? I'm not a big fan of, it, it weakens your center position. Well, guess what? We got Mike Muscala. We give you Mike Muscala instead of that extra first round pick. You give us back Mason Jones. And Mason Jones has a no trade clause. Who is giving out tr no trade clause to Mason Jones? Who even is Mason Jones? How about that? That's the real question. All right, so give us back a mere coffee. And and they still, even with Mike Muscala, they're like, nah. Okay, whatever. We, we won't do the Anthony Davis trade. What about just simple, good old trade finder, Kyrie Irving, first round pick? You serious? You serious? See, this is what I mean by this game not having any logic whatsoever. Oh, Bam and Evan Mobley kind of makes sense. 69 shot potential or shot tendency. And then 55 shot Tennessee. Those are players that will help you win. And they don't shoot a lot. Or do I just do the one that I've already been wanting to do? And we get a, a nice perimeter guard who's probably going to get traded away. Let's be honest with you. That's a really hard trade to determine. I think that Emo was just in the finals last year. No, no, that wasn't Emo. That was Scotty Barnes. Emo won rookie of the year. Ah, this is, this is rough. Because of the shot Tennessee of Anthony Davis, I decided to go with Bam and Emo. Now I just feel like I got to throw Emo in a different trade though. I'm not, I think he's here to stay. But I mean like this. This trade right here could probably give us like, you see, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, come on dog, come on dog. That's, this is a lot of potential stars, but all of those dudes, like if I get Jokic on the team, he's going to win finals MVP, you know what I'm saying? But I guess that makes Pascal Siakam expendable. As much as I like Pascal, I have Emo and I have Bam. Unless we run in Pascal at the three. I could run Pascal at the three potentially. Ooh, ooh, that's not a championship roster. That's not a championship roster. Remember, we still got to get there and win. 
So this is a little bit tougher. I I'm going to throw Pascal in the trade fighter with a pick. Ben Simmons is here. Shot Tennessee is going to be low. But Ben Simmons just stuffs the stat sheet so much that I'd be afraid to have him on my team. He's a guy that can steal away the MVP award. You know what I'm saying? Chris Paul, slow shot Tennessee. But I, like I said, I don't want a crazy elite level guard play. DeJounte Murray can steal the award away. There's Rudy Gobert. I think I do Rudy Gobert's trade. I know it probably don't make no sense, but he hear me out. Hear me out. Emob's running the three for us, okay? He's a 6'11 small forward. Defensively, there's nobody that's scoring on us. And they're not going to put up no... None of these players are putting up crazy statistics. None of these players are putting up crazy statistics. They're going to defend their butt off, and it's going to be... Hurt. What is your shot, Tennessee? It's 90. It's 90. His shot is the same as Kyrie Irving coming in as a rookie. Okay. Okay. All right. I feel I feel solid. I feel good. You know what I'm saying? What is Anthony Simon's shot tennis? It's only a 60. Okay. I feel like I could go get Lonzo Ball. I want Lonzo Ball. I want Lonzo Ball. I want another point guard that's going to defend. Our motto is defend and give the ball to Joffrey to score. Can we just do this straight up? I, oh, my God. I didn't realize that Lonzo Ball was a 87. I'll give you Cam Reddish. What, what is that? They, that's not enough for y'all? All right. What about a pick? That's the second. Hold on. What about a first round pick? That should be enough. And then the second. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was a lot to give up for Zoe. Let me do this right off rip. First of all, I guess it don't matter for the regular season how many minutes he gets. But to have him as the least amount of minutes played on the team right now, on the starting lineup right now, is disrespectful to man's. It's disrespectful. We got a ton of young players like Franz Wagner and, and, and Trey Mann. And like Poku's here too. Poku and PJ Dozier. Defense, Davion Mitchell, welcome to the team. Yes, sir. We got defenders. We got Terrence Mann and Trey Mann, not related as far as I know, which is weird that they're both last name Mann. He went to Florida. He went to Florida State. So somewhat of rivals? Would you count those as rivals? I would guess so. Somewhat of rival schools? I don't know. I, are we a championship team, we think, behind, behind Taylor Jenkins as a coach? I feel like we could be. I feel like we could be. What, what does rotation look like? We don't have a backup center, really. So maybe we trade one of these dudes at the bottom for a backup center. Kevon Looney. Yes, sir. Mr. Dennis Rodman 2.0. Get him on the team. Okay. Championship team. Maybe, maybe not. I think we could be. I'm going to give my guy a lot more minutes. You know why? You know why he should get minutes in the regular season? Because it'll help his progression. So maybe at the end of the season, he's like an, an 82 instead of an 81. I'm also making him the number one scoring option. First game of his NBA career. He's going against the Wiz. And he has 17. If Rudy Gobert is doing this, he's winning Finals MVP. If Rudy Gobert is putting up 20, 20 games regularly, he's winning Finals MVP, but he's not. But Lonzo Ball might average a triple-double in the playoffs. It's going to be rough, bro. It's going to be rough. But we, we got we to gotta ride this wave. We undefeated through the first week of the season. Lonzo is actually shooting the heck out of the ball for some reason. Why is this shot? Oh, we're going to be undefeated? Are we going to defeat it this season? <laughs> I'm going to defeat it this season. So far, he's averaging 22-4-2. and two. Okay. Okay. What's, what's your rebounding numbers like? I thought I saw that in college you averaged a lot of rebounds. His rebounding numbers look like 50 and 40. Uh, the defense is above average for sure. The perimeter defense is good. How do I get it so he he fills up the stat sheet and it's not just points? You know what? We're we going to fo focus on getting to the finals to start off with. And then we'll worry about the rotation and stuff once we get there. Because I, I'm not completely sure. Joel Embiid won MVP. Okay, Joff. If Joff averages this... If he averages this in the finals, GG's. He's finals MVP. There's no way around it. Ben Simmons is now a six man. Okay. There's no way around it. We won 72 games. I just realized that. 72 games. Nobody's even close to us in the NBA. All right. Take a look around at our personal stats. Bam. Hey. Bam. 17, 10, and 5 is dangerous. Uh, hmm. Okay. F playoffs. Playoffs. Here we come. Now, remember, it's finals MVP, not playoff MVP. So, I don't care what the rotation looks like. To get us there. Um, it looks like we might be sweeping the Western Conference. We do. And now we're going against the Raptors. Okay. All right. So this is where our damage is being done. He's being guarded by Buddy Hill, which is a dub. That is a big time dub, if you ask me. He got Mikael Bridges over there, but Mikael Bridges is not focused on him. Okay. All right. We're going to take some minutes away. Give them all to my boy. I'm actually taking minutes away from, from Bam. I'm taking minutes away from Zoe. And, and, and this team got to prove that they can beat us without our star players getting a ton of minutes. I'm getting Terrence Mann some of these minutes. I'm getting Trent Rawford some of these minutes. I don't know how the heck Grant Williams go this whole season without no minutes, but he did. All right, so now nobody should even come close. Can we still win this way? Game one, we won. 
And oh my God, Bam, you you monster! Bam, Bam's got to get his minutes taken down. You got to get your minutes. You're, pl you're playing 15 minutes per. Trent Wofford is getting your minutes. Where's Trent? Trent Wofford, come on. You're better than Bam. You're better than Bam today. You, you're, you're better than Bam today. Okay, game two. Please just, just let... Game two. Yes. And we won still. We won where, where Bam played 19 total minutes. Anybody else is in a running? No. So, so far, it's really just... Game three. Oh, my God. Are we going to sweep? Dude. Bam! Stop! Bam can't play this last game. Bam cannot play this. We're probably not going to win if we don't play Bam at least some minutes. Bam cannot play this last game. I'm sorry. Trenton, come get these minutes, Mr. Watford. Strategy, strategy, strategy. Actually, strategy. I, I, we need to lose a game. We need to lose a game. Zoe, you're giving your minutes to um, Terrence Mann. Davion's getting minutes. This is my thinking. If I rest or give all my minutes away from our star star play you know what they get one minute oh i'm cooking i'm cooking with gas they get one minute so their averages are gonna go down you know we're gonna lose we're, we're gonna lose <laughs> that's a, actually let me get my rotation right first new rotation alert we at the point guard we got terrence man shooting guard is gonna be henderson small four franz wagner power forward grant williams center kavan looney and then getting one minute per game is Rudy Gobert, Bam Adebayo, Lonzo Ball, Evan Mobley. We're going to lose this game. Oh, okay. Good job, guys. Good challenge. How do we win this game, bro? He put up 41. Oh, my God. He put up 41. No shenanigans. Y'all know. I never shenanigan, y'all. But, like, the, I don't know how we won that game with the normal settings. But well, maybe because Jalen Smith was the second best player on the court for them. Wow. That was surprisingly easy. I mean, I guess it would be easy when you're finagling the rotation and stuff like this. But still, let's take a look and see what Bam and them end up averaging once you add that last game of uh, mediocre-ness. Trey Man averaged 15 this series. That's great. He was second in scoring. I can't believe we just won a championship where our second highest player or second highest scoring player was Trey Man. Year two Trey Man at that. And then Bam basically played one minute. Evan Mobley played one minute. Lonzo played one minute. Rudy Gobert played one minute. And like Trent Wofford scored as many points as Rudy Gobert in this series. Magic Johnson challenge. Joffrey, you're an absolute legend. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You're an absolute legend. In the finals, 19 was a little bit scary because that was the big bam game. Then we got 32, 28, and 41. And I was giving him 48 minutes per, but for some reason they didn't get him 48 minutes per, right? Did I give him 48 per? Yeah, I did. And they said, forget you, Kenny. Taylor Jenkins had his own plan. And, well, it got executed and we won. And the comment section is always open for different challenges. Let me know what you think. Leave a like and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.